SCP-1285's roots will begin a period of rapid flower growth, and it followed by SCP-1285's roots attempt to dislodge one of the subject's eyes, leaving a flower. SCP-1285 is a wooden sculpture depicting an armless and headless humanoid sitting on a concrete pedestal. Root-like structures are projecting from its shoulders. Nature's embrace is engraved on the back of the pedestal. The object class is safe. The object's anomalous properties manifest when placed in an indoor environment. The roots of the sculpture will begin to grow. SCP-1285 will grow with a rate of 1 meter per day, being observed when unobstructed. If the root reach a surface composed of non-organic materials, they will begin production of pigments to match the surface and would attempt to grow through any cracks present. When not in testing, SCP-1285 is to be placed in a fenced off plot of land outside of Site-56. While testing, unless testing protocols require otherwise, SCP-1285 is to be contained in a concrete containment area filtered with a bed. While indoors, in order to prevent potential degrading of the containment chamber, SCP-1285's roots are to be incepted and trimmed on a daily basis. Testing is to be conducted by only after Level 4 approval, and it must be submitted two weeks in advance to allow proper growth if necessary. After testing, all instances of SCP-12851 are to be removed and incinerated. Experimentation shows that SCP-12851's roots grow towards the nearest bedroom, defined as any room containing an implement used for sleeping. When SCP-12851 is placed in a bedroom, no growth will be observed. Once placed SCP-12851 inside the bedroom, the roots of it will not continue to grow until a human subject falls asleep in said room. At this point, SCP-1285's roots will begin a period of rapid flower growth, and it followed by SCP-1285's roots attempted to dislodge one of the subject's eyes, leaving a flower which hereby designated SCP-1285-1 in its place. MRI scans shows that SCP-1285-1 connects directly to the subject's brain. Survivors of this process reported as mildly unpleasant and will show a marked decrease in aggressive behavior. It is observed that this process will take between 16 and 32 seconds. SCP-12851 will attract nearby insects, which will pollinate SCP-1285 through use of SCP-12851. This will cause the production of sap, hereby designated SCP-12852. SCP-12852 can be refined into an alcoholic beverage. When consumed, side effects do not appear for six hours. But after that, it is known that stomach pains, headaches, hemorrhaging and vomiting would occur, and will increase in intensity over a 72-hour period. Should the afflicted survive, root-like constructions will rapidly begin to grow out of the available orifices, eventually covering the afflicted's entire body. The subject in question is now considered an instance of SCP-12853. Instances of SCP-12853 are hostile towards all mammalian life and will attempt to wound them until they lose their immobility. At this point, SCP-12853 will bite the target, at which point victims will display symptoms identical to those caused by SCP-12852 but these symptoms are shown at a highly accelerated rate. SCP-1285 was discovered in a back room in a bar and grill in Colorado after reports of three people in the area. Later revealed that it was instances of SCP-1285-3. At that time, a note which labeled as document 1285A was found among its possessions. Document 1285A to my dearest friend, Jared. A sincerest thank you for your help in making my latest movie, Attacked of the Rootman, a reality. I hope you understand how much your acting brought out. You were the perfect lead, and for that, I sincerely thank you. But look at me go on. As a token of my gratitude, I relinquish ownership of the main prop, the statue of the forest god, if you weren't aware, to you and let you in on a little secret. 
Do you remember how the dastardly Dr. Abur extracted the forest god's sap to create his own tree creatures? Well, just between you and me, you too can produce it. All with the help of my darling prop. All you need to do is place that statue somewhere you can sleep, invite someone into that room, and let the magic unfold. Now all you have to do is take the resulting sap. Say magnifying. Be careful with that stuff, though. It's alcoholic, and I wouldn't want a young man such as yourself driving their career into ruin so early. I can assure you that your talent will make you go far. I am entrusting you this marvelous art in hopes that you can bring out its full potential, just as you did on the set. Expect a package in the mail soon. Best regards. But no evidence of this movie has been uncovered till now, and the owner of the bar was amnestic size, along with the remaining witnesses. All instances of SCP-12853 were eliminated. That's for today's video. We hope you enjoy and subscribe our channel. Also, which SCP were you most interested in? Feel free to tell us in the comments. We'll see you soon.